Do you want to learn how to flawlessly execute your trades using the global trading platform Gate.io? Make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video as I'll show you all of the amazing trading features that Gate.io offers so you can execute your trades perfectly. Make sure that you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button and tap that notification bell to stay up to date with all of the latest trading videos on YouTube. Before I jump straight into the video, make sure to check out the global trading platform Gate.io. They have amazing trading features. They offer very competitive trading fees and they're one of the best global trading platforms out there that offer a large amount of different crypto trading assets for you to trade day in and day out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to execute trades using the Gate.io trading platform. We're going to be focusing on this right hand side here where we see manual trading and the also trading bots tab. We're then going to be focusing on this bottom part here where you can see we have open orders, order history, trade history and trading bots. I'm actually going to be executing trades into the market later in this video and I'm going to show you exactly how you can manage your trades. I'm going to be showing you how you can manually edit your stop loss, move your stop loss, change your limit orders around and how to use this trading platform for your best benefit. Now let's focus on this right hand side here. Now we see spot. Spot actually directly means that you're buying and selling Bitcoin or different cryptocurrencies for cash. On this next right hand side part, we actually have isolated 10x. This is directly different from spot trading. This is actually called margin trading. With margin trading, you're not only directly buying with cash, you're actually borrowing funds to be able to trade this margin account. With spot, if you have $1,000 in your trading account, then you're only able to trade a $1,000 trading account. But in this isolated 10X account, if you had $1,000 deposited in your trading account, you'd then be able to take up to 10X leverage, meaning that you could take a $10,000 position in the market. What you're actually doing is borrowing money from the exchange and it's costing you a very small amount in interest because you need to be paying interest on that money as it's being borrowed and you're able to then take a much larger position into the market. This is also risky because if you take a 10x position size in the market, if the market moves 10% against you, 10% times 10 equals 100%, which would mean your account is completely wiped out if there's a 10% move that goes against your position if you're trading that margin account. So these are the two biggest types of trading. You can either trade with spot, where if you have that $1,000 in your account, you can only trade up to $1,000 maximum, or you have a margin account where you deposit something like $1,000 and you're able to trade up to $10,000 or even $100,000 trading account depending on the margin that the particular exchange offers. Next, we have the buy and we have the sell button. On these crypto exchanges, you can not only buy in the market expecting prices to go from its current price and actually go much higher to the upside, you can actually sell in the market expecting prices to actually continue to the downside and this is actually called shorting. Now, if you've traded stocks or something in the past, you would know that shorting is not always available. But when you're trading cryptocurrencies, especially when you're actually trading using the margin trading account because you need to be borrowing actual funds to be able to sell short, you can actually go into the market and if you expect these current prices to actually continue 
From this current price, but continue much lower to the downside, you can actually sell in the market right now. You sell your position looking to buy back later on, and what you do is you buy back later on at a lower position, and you actually gain the profit in between this drop here. So not only can you go long in the market where you expect the price to actually continue to the upside right here and not when you buy low and then you sell high, like in traditional markets, you can also go short in this market where you're expecting prices to go down then you go short and you actually buy your position back later on at a better price and you take that profit in between. The next part that you need to understand and is a very key part of trading is limit orders and marker orders. Now what a limit order is, is you can actually put a limit order in the market but what is this actually saying is you're betting against the market. What a limit order is, is you can put an order right here in the market saying at 30,000, $500 that I'm actually going to get into my position. Say I want to sell in the market. Once price actually reaches this price, I'm going to go short. So you type in here $30,500 and you would put the amount of Bitcoin you wanted to trade. Let's say you wanted to trade something around one Bitcoin, which would be around that $31,000 total level. But when you're actually limit ordering in the market, you're expecting prices to go in the opposite direction. So you're actually betting against the market. Whereas when you go into a market order right here and you actually go into the market and you click buy, market order enters the market right here. You're actually entering straight off all of these buy and sell orders that are currently in the market. A market order is directly executed. It is pushed out into the market and it is instantly executed for you. Whereas a limit order is actually a price where you set in the market at this particular price, that's when my market order is going to be executed. So if you put a limit order, you would have to wait wait for price to come up to this level, then it would be executed into the market, then you would wait for price to continue in your intended direction. But if price never reached your limit order, your order would never be executed. Whereas when you go into the market order and you directly go in and execute your order, it is instantly executed, meaning you grab the best price possible at this current price point and you're entered into the market in a trading position. Now, what I'm going to do to explain all of this better for you is I've actually come over to the Gate.io testnet where I've got some practice funds where I can just execute orders and not worry about the fluctuations in price and I can actually show you exactly what limit orders and market orders actually are. Looking at this right hand side, now that we are actually trading with leverage, you can see that we've got this cross right here. We've got cross and we've got isolated. These are actually types of trading on margin. I like to keep it on cross, which in cross margin mode, the entire trading balance is used as margin. When liquidation occurs, your loss is the entire balance. As I'm always teaching, you only ever want to risk up to 3% of your trading account. So you can see that we've got a slider here. We've got one X, which is like trading on spot. You're only trading if you've got $1,000, you trade $1,000. Two X would mean that if you've got $1,000, you can now trade a $2,000 account. The same with this, 1,000 would become 3,000. Here, 1,000 would become 5,000. Here, 1,000 would become 10,000 and so on. At the end, we've got 1,000 would actually become 100,000. So you could deposit $1,000 into your account and actually trade up to $100,000. But if you think about it, if you're trading using 100X leverage, if your position moves just 1% against you, 1% times 100 equals 100% 100 of your account would actually be wiped out. So it's an extremely risky and basically gambling form of trading. So you have to be very, very wary. I'm always teaching to only risk maximum of 3% of your trading account on any single trade. So now let me show you a live limit order. We're going to set it at the price of $30,800, which is just above the current price point. We're gonna make it a small size of 0.01 Bitcoin, and we're going to sell short in the market. You can see our order was successfully executed and you can see now we've got the limit order in the market. We've got 0.01 Bitcoin, 
being executed as a limit order when price reaches $30,800. You can now actually come down and scroll down here. You can see we've got positions as zero because we don't currently have any open positions in the market, but we do have open orders. We're not currently in the position, but we do have open orders. You can see red being a short. We've got a limit market order on the short side at this price with this current size. It's telling us how much is unfilled. We're still waiting to get filled on this price. And you can even see we can come and cancel this order. You can even see here, stop loss and take profit. So once the order is actually executed in the market, you can then go and set a stop loss and also a take profit in your market order right there. So now let me actually delete that trade. I can go on this X right here and click cancel order and you can see successfully order has been canceled. Now let me actually take a long position. I'm gonna say at $28,500, so $28,500, I'm actually going to buy long in the market. Successfully order has been created and in a second, you'll see price will populate right here. You can right now see limit order $28,500 will be executing 0.01 Bitcoin. Again, we can come down and scroll here. You can now see that this is green, meaning that it is a long side trade. You can see the size, the unfilled amount, and you can see this open order. So very, very easy. We can then click there cancel the order and we've now canceled that limit order. The limit order would only ever be executed once price came down and reached that current price point, it would then be executed into the market. Now, let me actually show you a market order. Let's say that I actually scroll out on the chart right now and I'm looking at this chart and I'm saying, yes, we're going to go long. Price is going to go much, much higher very, very quickly. So I want to get long. So that means you actually come over to market order and you can see how the actual price has gone. You can see when you have limit order, you can put the particular price you're going to buy at. But with market orders, as I explained to you, you're actually going directly into the market right now and purchasing off these current prices that are off this order book. So I'm actually gonna come in here and buy 0.01 Bitcoin. I'm going to buy long and you can see when I mark an order, now we actually don't remind me again, confirm the order you can see buy and we've actually added directly contracts. You can see right here, we're actually got money moving. This amount right here is actually our direct profit and loss. We're currently down $1.75, but that would actually be associated with the trading fees of actually executing this trade. So we can actually come down and scroll down. You can see right now, we don't have any open orders. Reason being is because we have a position open. You can see right now, we have a position open on Bitcoin USDT. We have a size of 0.01 Bitcoin, which is valued at $300. It even tells me my entry price, which was $29,945.87. We've then got our margin. So our total amount of margin that we've been using into this trade. And then you can see our unrealized profit and loss unrealized means we haven't actually taken that profit or taken that loss yet. It would only ever be executed when you actually go into the market and exit out of your trade. That's how that would actually become realized rather than unrealized. You can now see this realized profit and loss. I've actually realized a loss of 15 cents, which would actually be directly correlated with the trading fees because there would just be a tiny fee associated with every single time you take a trading account. You can then see reduce, close, or reverse. You can then reduce or close your position by hitting this market order right here. You could also close your position by putting a limit order saying that if price reached this particular price, then yes, I'm going to get out of my price of my order right here. Or you can even say reverse. So what this will actually do, if you click this reverse button, it's going to get you out of your current position and it's going to reverse your position. So if you're currently long 0.01 Bitcoin, you click reverse, it's going to put you short 0.01 Bitcoin. It's directly going to swap your actual position in the market. Now you can see we can actually come into the market and set our take profit and stop loss in the market. So let's see, we can see our entry price right here at $29,945. I'm gonna say at 
30,000, I'm gonna take my profit on Bitcoin. So you can see I'm setting it at $30,000. I'm gonna be taking my profit and you can even see that's an estimated profit and loss of 50 cents on this position. I'm just showing you this obviously isn't direct numbers. I'm just trading a very tiny account just to show you. And then let's see our current price right here, our entry price. Let's actually put our stop loss $1,000 below. So let's put it at exactly $29,000. We're going to put our stop loss. So you can now see exactly how you can execute trades on Gate.io, the global crypto exchange. Now that I'm actually entered into a position, I've actually got my stop loss and take profit into the market. I can now sit back and actually let my trade pan out and that's exactly what I do. I set up my trade, understand exactly where I'm going to be buying, exactly where I'm going to be selling, exactly where I'm taking my stop loss, exactly where I'm taking my profit. And then once I've executed my trade, I come in, I set my stop loss, I set my take profit and now it's just about the market, letting the market do its thing, letting the probability play out and actually understanding which is the correct orders to do. Do I want to use market orders? Do I want to use limit orders? Do I actually want to set Set these stop loss how do i want to set this take profit how am i actually going to adjust i really love coming into here and actually being able to see the exact profit and loss on the trade the exact profit and loss on the trade it makes it so easy not only to visualize but to see the exact profit that you're expecting the exact potential loss that could occur from this trade and actually understanding exactly how this works i really hope you've enjoyed today's video smash the like button smash the subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell to stay up to date with all of the latest YouTube videos. Make sure to sign up with Gate.io in this video description and I'll see you in the next video.